that's another option. If you are not running a ZTP, then you need to do manual configuration to make the device up. And the same thing we will do in our lab also because in the VH cloud, in the cloud, sorry, in the VH cloud, which are the virtual images where you cannot run the ZTP. Right. So on the physical device only you can run the ZTP. OK, on virtual devices, it does not work. Because of virtual devices, there's a condition that uh, they they are the just images and images. There will be some serial number which is not already there in your vManage. So manually you need to change your chassis number, serial number. Manually you need to put the certificates. That's how it should work, right? So this is the ZTP part and this is uh, just a uh, you can say the flows. VH power up, VH gets IP from DSCP. VH dissolve ZTP.hotela.com. VH get verified by ZTP. Then ZTP provides the organization V bond. Then V bond VH gets verified and connects to organization V bond. So these are the just flow the same thing this I was telling about through the before that one. Right. So VA manage provides system IP. VH reconnect to V bond. So these are the just steps and it's join the overlay. And on this ZTP process. Here is step by step process is power on where it will hit so DSCP, DNS, V bond, ZTP, how it will configuration. These are just step by step which we are discussing right now. So and I, think I, I just have a quick question in, in the middle of this. Uh -huh. So um, um, let, let's say if we, we have a customer, I mean, it's, it's on a marine site and mm -hmm. they do not have a static IP. The mm -hmm. providers do not have a static IP, they're just giving a dynamic IP for their mm -hmm. internet circuit. Mm -hmm. if, we, if we hook it like that and get a patted IP or a natted IP on mm -hmm. the uh, VS. No, pat, pat will not work. Only in pat one to one NAT. Work, right? Yeah, only one to one NAT will work. The condition okay, is and that one to one NAT. Okay, yeah. and if, if the IP is not static, then uh, it won't work, right? Because they're not, they do not have static IP. At that point, we are we are stuck, right? We need to have a static IP to make a one to one pack, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, static IP one to one NAT is required if they, you are you are using private IPs on the edge. Mm -hmm. If you have public IP, then it's fine. Public static IP. If DSCP, right? So your ISP is providing IP to DSCP, then ZTP will work. Okay, got it. Thanks. Okay, and bring up non DSCP. The same thing. I am telling you that. How you can bring up the non DSCP sites? So here you can just provide the the V bond public IP, right? And this is basic config and just route. One route it's put it, one IP, and host name, system IP, site ID, organization name, and V bond. These are the must. In the red color you can see these are the must. Four things are must. If you miss anything, suppose you miss site ID, it will not come up. Right. So these are some basic thing you need to consider from being non DSCP. VH cloud workflow. OK, that is some different thing that uh, bootstrap config cloud in it. We will do the same thing in our lab, so we don't don't need to go to there. Right. VM provisioning tool. And there is some uh, different mechanism if you are putting the VH cloud image on the AWS, then this kind of cloud in it config you need to put when you are deploying that edge you are spinning up that VH cloud on your AWS environment that time you can you need to put these small configuration it will be generated from the uh, vManage I will cover that part also I have some document how you can spin up the edge on the there's a two way either you are directly spinning up the edge on the AWS. So this is I mean this is this is related to ZTP. Uh, yeah, we can say it's related to ZTP if you are directly spinning up the edge on the AWS. I mean directly there's a two way to spin up this VH box on AWS. Either you can directly push from the vManage. There's a mechanism you need to log in in the vManage with AWS account. There is a step by step. I will show you later on. There is a document through that you will see the snapshot. I don't have any AWS account, so the directly I cannot show you. But I have the document that what all all the step you need to follow if you are spinning up the VH cloud from the vManage. 
and if you are not referring to the vmanage directly you are spinning up the edge cloud on the aws and then want to make a connection with the resident fabric that time if you are uh, spinning up this edge cloud when you are spinning up the images so there is an option that you need to put the ip this sub cloud unit config uh, 2gb ram processor all the other things means normally as you spin any uh, uh, virtual images in aws so those process you need to follow and you need to map some uh, that private ip because in aws normally you will assign one private ip to your devices and then you will bring some public ip and you will do some netting so there's some firewall also so there's some different mechanism but this configuration is required if you are directly spinning up it is a cloud unit config actually and the other things that you uh, either you want that okay my edge cloud should have should also perform the gtp then uh, you will require some vm provisioning tool if you are deploying this edge cloud on the vm various si environment then you need to have vm provisioning tool under that you will basically modify that image you already have a image vh cloud then you are modifying this image with this configuration and some other configuration you can do and then it will be up so there's a different thing you don't need to try these are some lab things that you want to see uh, in your you have any vsxi is or esxi or vcenter lab then it will be required okay so vh cloud bootstrap process nothing uh, i will show you in the directly on the lab they are just uh, written thing that you, you how you can change the chassis number basically what happened if my lab is working then i can show you that basically what is the difference that why you cannot make a edge vh cloud why you cannot run the gtp on the vh cloud yeah i think it's work now okay. let me show you one thing on monday maybe we will start our lab IP for your ENG also. Let me mark it as a star. And always use the HTML5 console. You guys already having your username and password? Yes. Okay. Then you can try this lab also later on. So, okay. If I will use the Taylor Edge 19.1.0. Zero version we will use. You can use two CPU two zero four eight five. I say okay. I will own it. Start. Then we will see that what kind of configuration we received. Any physical devices on virtual devices when it first time delivered at site. Now here we cannot log in. We need to wait the pop-up system ready. If you will try to log in here, it will show you the error. And by default, password for every device is admin admin. Here you can see the show running config. Under the show running config, you see the host name is showing VH. No V bond is there. V bond is only jtp.uptala.com. So if suppose it is a physical device, then it will try to hit this server. Okay. And first interface is configured with tunnel as a tunnel interface and capsulation IPsec. 
other interface is not there you can see even a physical device you will see the interface there uh, maybe g0/0 it will not show you any tunnel interface so we use normally this interface in physical devices for the ztp because it have all the configuration right when the tunnel interface is there and it will get ip through dscp then through the tunnel interface it will hit to the overlay it will not hit to the underlay so it will hit to the overlay of e bond there is a two term i don't think that i have share with you there is a two thing underlay and overlay this overlay term introduced when the sd wan come into the picture so underlay is just your physical cable and ip address overlay when it is making a tunnel with your v bond and v manage so these we called overlay and underlay is just uh, if you are using any local internet breakout or your physical cable and your next stop ip of your isp right so overlay is that tunnel which is between v bond v manage v smart or maybe with other site maybe other site having connectivity with this site so this we call the overlay okay so this here you can see the basic configuration how it's hit to the ztp.com there are some basic configuration if i will go to show interface description type tab all other interface is shut mode it's by default is up that is another reason that why i need to connect the cable here right that's how the ztp work okay so this part we already covered now cloud boot process yeah another thing why vh cloud will not run a ztp the reason is that if you will go to check show certificate here you will see the chassis number right and there is no serial number here if serial number is not there how we want will authenticate it so to make it up we will copy and paste the token number from the v manage and we will change the chassis number and token number of this device that's how our v manage knows okay you are the part of my organization because every images every soft this ios images may we have different chassis number different serial number but you have you 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 will not find this chassis number and serial number in your v manage because you have not purchased this image from the cisco you have just downloaded this image right so these are these are randomly chassis number serial number but to make it up because it authentication will happen with the help of serial number and chassis number we will use the token and chassis number from the v manage we will replace it chassis number and token number we will uh, modify it basically we will replace the chassis number and then when the request will reach from this edge to v smart v manage and v bond they will identify it because they already have and in ppt i have shown you here when we are attaching the template you can see that this chassis number you have got it from the smart account but this chassis number will not match to your image so we will use one of the chassis number and token number and we will change it here and that's how it will this cc number when will hit to the v manage here and the v manage will know okay you are the part of my organization i will authenticate you that's how it works okay so that's the reason that on vh cloud we cannot run that ztp because physical device you can get here physical device you purchase from cisco and you got the serial file and you upload it here so cisco also know that we have sold out this physical device to you right and the same is uploaded by you through serial file on the v manage and that's how it works automated onboarding process nothing is there cli high touch deployment control plane sessions okay this is a you will discuss okay so we can take a 15 minutes break now i will have a lunch and then we will like and subscribe my channel and share with those guys who want to learn sd1 thank you so much